As a new poll shows majority support for impeaching President Trump, Republicans are doing everything they can to rig the Senate trial in his favor. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. <laughs> on Friday, the House Judiciary Committee approved two articles of impeachment against Trump, setting the stage for a vote of the full House this week. And as CNN reported, Trump is aggravated by the fact that he's about to become the third president in history to be impeached. We are hearing President Trump is growing increasingly aggravated over the likelihood that he will be impeached. A Trump, uh, Trump campaign advisor I spoke with earlier today told me simply the coverage bugs him. Uh, bugs him? I don't <laughs> think bugs is ever the right word for Trump. He's never just bugged. He only has two modes, blind rage or spaced out. <laughs> He's either screaming like he just ate a fistful of ghost peppers or looking straight down to the table like an eighth grader in detention. <laughs> Trump's definitely more than bugged by the impeachment coverage. I mean, look at him. When he gets angry, he looks like the love child of the Hulk in an old beanbag chair full of farts. <laughs> also, Trump has made it pretty clear in his recent public statements that he's more than just bugged by impeachment, including at a rally last week and in the Oval Office on Friday when he claimed that Democrats had somehow been trying to impeach him since before he announced that he was running for president back in 2015. They can't win on election day, so they're pursuing an illegal, invalid, and unconstitutional bull impeachment. And then they announced there was no buys. Now, you know what we're doing? And it's not easy. A regular president would have been under a table, thumb in the mouth, saying, take me home, mommy, this is too tough for me. I have to tell you, as bad as it is, it, it, it meant something. When you had serious high crimes and misdemeanors. The impeachment is a hoax, it's a sham. It started a long time ago, probably before I came down the escalator with the future first lady. All right, first of all, what's with all the slurring, man? Trump's going to be the first president to get pulled over for a sobriety test in the middle of one of his rallies. <laughs> Can you say the alphabet backwards? I can't say it forwards. <laughs> Second, don't say I came down the escalator like you were George Washington crossing the Delaware. It wasn't noble or cool. You rode an escalator to announce your campaign for president like you were at a Macy's looking for men's underwear. I'm running for president. Also, where do you keep your dumpiest khakis? <laughs> Third and most important, you think Democrats were secretly plotting to impeach you before you announced that you were running for president? How'd that work? You think President Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Nancy Pelosi were all in a secret room together saying, okay, you know that famously dumb uh, game show host? You know, the one who spends most of his time yelling at meatloaf? Well, he's about to ride an escalator down to announce his campaign, so here's our plan to bring him down. We're gonna win the popular vote by three million votes, but then we'll lose the Electoral College because, you know, it's a dumb, antiquated system. And then we're gonna wait three years until he calls the president of Ukraine and ask him to dig up dirt on Joe Biden, who will announce that he is running for president and also Rudy Giuliani is going to go on TV and confess to everything. That's the plan. That is our plan. Actually, you know, the last part right there is probably the only thing they could have predicted right there. <laughs> this is just the world we live in now. The president's a deranged conspiratorial lunatic who's fundamentally untethered from reality. In fact, on Friday, Trump lied and claimed that his poll numbers have actually gone up since impeachment began. My poll numbers, as you know, have gone through the roof. The polls have gone through the roof for Trump because people, especially with independent voters, and especially in swing states, I could show you numbers that nobody has ever seen numbers like this before. What are you talking about? We're getting numbers no one has ever seen? Eleventy, <laughs> Bleventine, <laughs> something called a Thrix. That's the first Thrix we've ever seen, you guys. But we know Trump is lying because polls have consistently shown that about half of Americans want him at least impeached, if not removed from office altogether. Even a new Fox News poll over the weekend confirmed that. And it was a poll that surprised even Fox & Friends morning host, Brian Kilmeade, who said this morning that he was stunned to see how high the number was. In the latest Fox News poll, 50% of registered voters think the president should be impeached and 
removed from office, up one point since October. Four percent think he should be impeached but not removed from an office. And uh, 41 percent do not think he should be impeached at all. The Fox poll came out, and I was stunned by this. It says 50 percent of the country want the president impeached. I was stunned to see that that's the number because I thought that things were trending away. Yeah, you know why you thought that? Because you only listen to Trump and you only watch Fox News. You're... <laughs> You're like a guy who works at Arby's who eats an actual burger for the first time and says, what? This burger doesn't taste like horse. <laughs> when Kilmeade saw that poll, he was probably like, but I thought Trump's approval rating was up to a Leventy Bleventine Thrix. <laughs> That's what I heard. So Trump has clearly both been watching the impeachment coverage and also getting enraged about it, although he'd love for us to believe he's not. On Friday, for example, he insisted he was working on other more important issues, like a supposed trade deal, he keeps claiming he's negotiating with China. Mr. President, your reaction to the vote in the House Judiciary this morning? Well, I was actually, believe it or not, finishing up the final, I was doing the final touches on the China deal. I uh, did not believe it. <laughs> also, if you do anything, it's not the final touches. They maybe let you help out in the beginning a little bit so you have ownership, you know, the way you let your toddler stir the frosting, but not put the cake in the oven. So now that impeachment is almost certain to pass in the House, it'll move to the Senate for trial, where the senators themselves will act as jurors. And Republican senators who will act as those jurors are already on TV defending the president before the trial even begins. For example, there was Senator Rand Paul, who kept insisting in a contentious interview with CNN's Jake Tapper that Trump was just worried about corruption in general, even though several of Trump's closest associates have been arrested and jailed, and Paul just kept mindlessly repeating his talking points. All of them have been convicted of federal crimes. You really think President Trump is concerned about rooting out corruption? I think most of what you listed, and most of the people that were indicted or convicted, were alleged to have been part of some sort of huge Russian conspiracy. I'm asking about President Trump and corruption. I just listed right. a number of close associates of President Trump's who are either right. in prison or facing sentencing. But I think it's sentencing. based on opinion. It's based on no, no, this, a, it's these based are on sentences. On these, are, aid. these are criminal his opinion, sentences. His... I just wanted to know: Do you really think President Trump is concerned about corruption? It, just a yes or no. Is that something you really? Yes, believe? I do. I do you think do with think I do think that Ukraine. I think Ukraine has been one of the corruptest countries on well, earth. That's not what I Western asked. Western backed or Western backed, all the governments of Ukraine have been corrupt. He just kept ignoring the question. There's no way to break through with these guys. They just recite their pre-programmed lines. Anchors have to yell at them the way you yell at one of those automated customer service agents. Hello. Thank you for calling Verizon. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to uh, cancel my service. I heard. I want to upgrade my service. No! Is that correct? No, no, I said I want to cancel. I heard. Please add a second phone line to my account. Is that correct? No! no I want to cancel! I heard. I love Verizon. Thank you. Goodbye. The argument... The argument that Trump was just concerned about corruption in general is obviously absurd on its face. In fact, as we speak, Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani, who's at the center of this whole scheme, is back in the U.S. from a trip to Ukraine where he was still digging up dirt on Trump's political rivals. And the Wall Street Journal reports that Rudy is still reporting directly to Trump. When he returned to New York last Saturday, the president called him as his plane was still taxiing down the runway. What did you get, Trump asked. More than you can imagine, Giuliani replied. He was loudly committing crimes on the plane as soon as the plane landed. <laughs> At this point, whenever Rudy flies, the flight attendants are going to have to announce his Miranda rights. <laughs> you are now free to use your mobile devices. And remember, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> Not only are they continuing to cheat in the election as we speak, but they're also trying to cheat in the trial about the cheating. Remember, the Senate is supposed to be a fair and impartial jury, but both Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Senate Judiciary Chairman Lindsey Graham have said explicitly their only goal is to end the trial as quickly as possible, call zero witnesses, and take their marching orders directly from the president himself. I don't need any witnesses at all. Okay, and then... I am in, in ready term, to go. And, my goal is to end this as soon as possible for the good of the country. I'm not I trying to pretend any to be a fair <laughs> juror here. Everything I do during this, I'm coordinating with White House counsel. There will be no difference between the president's position and our position as to uh, how to handle this. 
They're supposed to be the jury, and they're literally going on TV admitting they're not going to be impartial, and they're going to take their orders from the president. Only in the Senate can you openly brag that you're not pretending to be a fair jury. Lindsey Graham sounds like a dude who's just making stuff up to get out of jury duty. I can't serve on a jury. My grandma's sick, and I'm her caretaker, and I'm cat-sitting, and I live far away, and I don't speak English, and I'm biased against cops. <laughs> this is the Republican Party of Trump. A party that sees any challenge to its power as illegitimate, that's fine with cheating to win elections, and that rigs trials to avoid consequences for that cheating. They don't care what they have to do to win, even if it involves cheating, and then defending that cheating by going on TV and spouting bull****. This has been A Closer Look.